Good morning and welcome to another tutorial by me um, to all my subscribers and people who just want to have a look um, welcome I thought I would show you something interesting about Mac um, I'll show you what I mean here it's shortcuts and you know Windows you have your shortcuts like your control C control V as you do here in a Mac, so I go into my edit menu, you got, see, so you can see control, or Apple C, and Apple V. And, say for example, there's something you want that doesn't have a shortcut. For example, Reset Safari, which clears all your history, or Private Browsing, which means it doesn't record any history, or cache, or anything. Um, what we can do is we go to system preferences keyboard and mouse and here we go keyboard shortcuts so we go to keyboard and mouse again and it probably do default to one of these ones here but if we go to keyboard shortcuts these are all your keyboard shortcuts for your various activities and you can actually customize these if you wish. So if I want to add one, press the plus and we select an application, so Safari, our web browser. Okay, and this has to be the exact text that you're got in Safari so I want to just go back and check um, say private browsing go back to here so type in exact text private browsing I'm not so sure if it's case sensitive but just do it exactly as you wish and let's try Apple P at that one and we'll add in um, reset safari dot 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 remember dot 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 you need to you need to know that sometimes there's dot 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 and you must have it so reset Safari dot 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 Apple ah add okay now you can see we've added these two here these are your custom ones so I close off this now oh let's minimize it it wishes away down here and what we need to do is we need to if you go to Safari it won't appear but if you quit Safari open it up again and we go Safari now these are the new shortcuts we've added so let's quit out of that so I, so I want to go private browsing turn it on I press Apple P now. Are you sure you want to turn on private browsing? Yes. I want to now reset res Safari. So Apple R. Yes, reset Safari. And there you have it. You can create your own little shortcuts because sometimes there's not a shortcut that you want, but you want to define it. Um, just be careful of conflicts and just have a look in the application to see if there's a shortcut that's already taken. I'm not so sure what happens there. Um, I mean some applications like Safari has a lot of shortcuts. Uh, there's a few random ones here that have shortcuts but um, let's try VLC. There we go. See, most programs have a lot of shortcuts, but you're gonna you get some that don't have as many. 
let's have a look in this one app delete which is the application I used to uninstall yep see check for updates say for example we can add whatever we want there so let's let's just do that again so it's a quite short tutorial so I thought I could maybe add a few so we select app delete and it was check for updates Apple U. Let's try that. Was that the exact text? Check for updates. Okay, we'll quit app delete. Open it up and up here check for updates so there you go we will now go Apple U and you can see you're up to date close and yep we quit that one there and I think I'll keep all those shortcuts because I like them okay um, that's it this is my interesting wallpaper of the tutorial. I always have a different one. So until next time, enjoy your Mac and spread the good word of Mac and how good it is. Have fun. Bye for now.